Hey everybody, my name is Josh Matakor. I've helped probably thousands of people at this point break into IT and cybersecurity. That's basically what my channel is all about. Uh, today's video, I'm, I'm just gonna be answering a viewer's question. Um, he left a comment on this video where I'm talking about like how to break into cybersecurity directly without having to uh, without having to have worked in IT first. Basically they said, um, I have my security plus and some hands-on experience, but I'm having trouble getting interviews. Um, and I don't know what sites I can use for the best chance. Uh, would you recommend your cybersecurity course still? I've been in IT for seven years. So I'm gonna just go ahead and answer this viewer's comment. Uh, but before that, definitely check out all these free IT exam and cybersecurity exam practice questions me and my team built absolutely free. We have a lot of the CompTIAs uh, as well as CISSP, ITIL and some others. So definitely check those out. So getting right into answering this, um, Basically, uh, again, I talk about employ employability framework a lot on my channel. It's something that you can kind of look at and measure yourself against, and everything boils down to first getting an interview and passing an interview. And if you're failing to get an interview, um, usually it's because something is like wrong with your resume, like one way or another. So I'll put like a, a link to a resume in the description that you can use. Um, basically, you can retrofit it to yourself but you need to make sure your resume is like, okay, if you're not getting interviews, assuming that you're applying enough, I'm assuming that your the ATS is like uh, filtering out your resume for some reason, like there's probably something wrong with it. So you just need to make sure it's really simple, like make sure there's like no tables and like double column or like any of this kind of stuff on your resume. Um, also, you just wanna like make sure you're quantifying your experience well enough like if you want to break into cybersecurity, especially if you're already working in in it or help desk or something like this you can always spin what you're doing to have like more of a security light if that makes sense um, especially in help desk you're probably working with like iam in some capacity like identity and access management or you're dealing with like physical assets like asset security or you're even potentially doing incident response because you're kind of the first line of defense for a lot of stuff right if somebody gets like malware on their laptop or something usually they're going to call like help desk or something to to fix it and so you can spin all of that as like I, you know iam incident response like asset management this this type of stuff just look at what you're doing in your job that's cybersecurity centric and then put it on your resume and like a cybersecurity uh, light if that makes sense and you know just make sure everything else is uh squared away like your grammar and like every all of those like tenses need to be consistent font needs to be consistent like all those alignment everything needs to be like pretty squared away so just just use this resume um i think it will it will help a lot and as far as what sites to use, um, so I teach an IT and cybersecurity course, and I, I always ask people, not always, but I often ask people like, what, like, how did you find your job? Like, which site did you use? Like, who reached out to you? And like, a lot of the time, a recruiter will like reach out to the person. And those people, um, they tell me they're using like a uh, ZipRecruiter. I've heard like many people get jobs from ZipRecruiter, um, Indeed for sure. LinkedIn for sure. Um, I've heard one from Dice kind of recently actually, and then Monster. I haven't heard people talk about Monster a lot, but Monster is another one. So I would, I would for sure like once your resume is really squared away, like I've I've been talking about in the first half of this video, like copy that resume, retrofit it to you, and then fill out profiles for like all of these sites, you know, like LinkedIn, Indeed, Dice, Monster, ZipRecruiter, like fill out a, like a profile on these like completely and make it as good as it can possibly be. And then on top of that, you can just take your time and kind of go through and methodically apply to jobs. I have a few um, videos on my channel where I talk about how to find kind of like hidden cybersecurity jobs, like certain search terms. Like if you look up, um, you know, Josh Matacor, cybersecurity job search terms, it, it will probably come out. And then to answer the last uh, question, um, would you still recommend your course? Um, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I, I created my course for people who have at least some security knowledge, like maybe Security Plus is perfect like you have, and they're just having trouble like bridging the gap from having Security Plus to actually getting in the industry. So there's a really good project um, in the cybersecurity course, especially where we build a miniature SOC um, and a honey net and we practice incident response. If you get the course and you do that lab like three or four or five times, you're gonna, it's gonna really help you a lot, not to mention the job hunting section. And then when you finally get into an interview because you've done that crazy like comp 
comprehensive lab so many times, you should have a relatively easy, um, a relatively easy time answering the questions and like articulating your thoughts and just explaining things in general. So, you know, if you have the extra time and money, like, yeah, I recommend you to do the course for sure. Cause it will help you with like the interview section and like the whole like resume stuff too, which I think you're having a problem uh, with your resume if you're not even getting interviews, but yeah. Uh, I hope that helps. Just make sure your resume is absolutely absolutely squared away. When all that stuff is fixed, fill out complete profiles on all those different job sites. And then if you have like you know extra time and money, um, feel free to go through the course you know, many times. I, I hope people go through it many times to like really build their intuition. But yeah, hope that helps. Uh, best of luck.